My work focuses on seabirds as indicators of environmental change. Seabirds are amazing creatures. They spend part of their life on land, and of course they depend on the sea. That's where all their food is. So they really can reflect both the ocean and the land. And I've concentrated on penguins because I think that they're extremely interesting and because people like penguins. And so I think we have a better chance of getting people to modify their behavior when it's for a penguin, <laughs> because we care about some wildlife more than others. And penguins are ocean sentinels. They're one of the ecosystem sentinels telling us what's happening to our globe. And penguins are concentrating on the Southern Hemisphere because that's where all the penguins are found. Penguins have really changed how I see the world. They're not that different from people. They're trying to make a living, they're trying to raise their, their family, and it's tough for them as well as sometimes for many, many people. So I guess I think penguins give us an a, empathy and a way to change our behavior to make it easier for penguins to exist and all the other wildlife that we share the planet with. One of the most incredible experiences I've had is having a penguin come to my call. When penguins are in the ocean, they try to find other penguins and they make a, an orientation call. They go, oh, and I was able to call a penguin over to the boat um, right up and he circled around and looked like, hey, are you gonna go foraging with us? So that was one experience. Another one was a penguin that uh, breeds near where we work. And so I see him every day and that penguin um, let me follow him down to the sea as if to say, hey, are you going to go foraging with me? Um, having those sorts of intimate experiences with wildlife make you understand that penguins and people are pretty similar. So if you want to have penguins in the world, people are going to have to modify their behavior. Some people think that interest in environmental causes has increased over the last few years. Well, there's 7.4 billion people in the world. In 1960, there were about 3 billion. So maybe there's more people interested in environmental problems, but um, it's not the percentage wise. We haven't been able to solve the population problem. There's too many people, there's too much consumption, and we're not doing enough for our other species that we're sharing the planet with. We have to do more for wild places and other species. And penguins at least can give us an insight into why we could change, should change our behavior because it would be more rewarding. Not only would penguins do better, but people would end up being happier. How do you shape the future? That's a tough one. I think the most important thing is education and getting people to understand that their lives would be better in, and they would be happier if in fact we had more wild places and more wild species and that we could share the planet a little more equitably with all these other critters. Biodiversity is important for our health, for our mental health, for our physical health, and certainly for the well-being of the planet. Penguins give us an insight so that we can actually modify our, our behavior. They're incredible. They can swim over 100 kilometers in a day. They can dive much deeper than any human. Humans have gotten to 100 meters. Emperor penguins can go to over 500 meters. We can hold our breath for maybe a little over three minutes. Emperor penguins, more than 20. So incredible creatures, we gotta do more to keep them in our world. And half of the penguin species are on the IUCN endangered species list.